Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of benchmark fractions and percents. This is standard 6.4F in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 6 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly simple problem here. We have an engine that is at 25%, and all we need to do is find 25% on these number lines. The problem is, is these are fractional number lines, so we're going to need to convert our fractions into decimals into percents. So let's see if we can figure out what this is. This is going to be F is going to be 2, and we're going to count the spaces. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spaces. So that's 2 tenths. So that's going to be easy. This is going to be 2 something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 2 eighths. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 fifths. And that's going to be 2. And that's not even going to be 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 twelfths. All right, so these are our fractions, and we need to find which one of these is 25%. So let's start with this top one right here, 2 tenths. That's going to be fairly easy to turn into a decimal because 2 tenths, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths are really easy because that's actually a decimal place value. This right here is the tenths place right here. So anytime you can make your fractions turn into a 10, 100, or 1,000, it's an easy change into a decimal. So when we change from a decimal to a percent, you simply move the decimal point to the right two times. That's how we change from decimal to percent. So from fraction to percent, you've got to go first from a fraction to a decimal, then a decimal to a percent. So this is going to be 0 0.212. So that's... 20%. Put a zero in that blank spot so we're close, but that's not going to be what we're looking for here. Let's look at two eighths. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. It's going to make my job a little bit easier. So, two eighths, let's divide, make an equivalent fraction by two over two because I know I can get one fourth or one quarter. All right, so now if I want to make that into a into a decimal. If I don't have it memorized, I'm going to divide up. 4 goes into 1. That's how we change our fractions into decimals, guys. As we divide up, our denominator becomes our divisor, and our numerator becomes our dividend. 4 goes into 10 twice. So that's going to be 8. That's going to be 2. Let's bring down another 0. And we've got 5. So there we go. So that's going to be my 0.25, so that equals 0 0.25, and if we want to change that into percent, 1, 2, look at that, there's our 25%. So that looks like that's going to be our answer here, 25%. Let's see if we can find these other ones real quick. You know what, I'm going to do this, I'm going to multiply by 2. Watch this, I'm going to make an equivalent fraction, but I'm going to make it bigger. You know why I'm going to do that? Because i got a denominator of 10. Denominator of 10 makes things super easy because that's 4 tenths, which move over twice, 1, 2, and that's going to equal 40%. So a little bit too big. Let's look at this last one, 4 twelfths. Let's make that an equivalent fraction. Let's make it a little bit smaller. That's going to be 1 third. So 3 is going to go, so that's going to be 0 0.3 repeating because I've I've done that in my previous video, and that's just going to go on and on and on. So that's actually a difficult one. That's going to be 33 and a third percent. Now, this one right here, one third. This one right here, one fourth. These are benchmark fractions, which means our answer is G, but we should memorize these. One fourth equals 0 0.25 equals 25 percent, rather than working that out guys we need to just memorize that just like we memorize our multiplication facts two-fourths is the same as 0 0.5 is the same as 50 three-fourths or three-quarters fourths are called quarters think of 75 cents 75 hundredths 75 percent